Hello everyone, this is Teacher Newton and here is another edition of Improve Your English, Melhore Seu Inglês Podcast. So, hello everyone. Today we are going to see how do we use present tenses. For example, I am doing or I do for the future. So, present continues for the future or simple present when we are talking about the future. So, first, let's see how do we use present continuous, I am doing, with a future meaning. For example, this is Ben's diary for the next week. He is playing tennis on Monday afternoon. He is going to the dentist on Tuesday morning. He is having dinner with Kate on Friday. In all these examples, Ben has already decided and arranged to do these things. So, we have an agenda with the schedule with activities that are scheduled there. So, when we are talking about an scheduled activity, something that we have already decided or arranged to do it, we use the present continuous. So, the formula is, I am doing something tomorrow, for example. So, let's take a look at, on these dialogues to see how do we do that. What are you doing on Saturday evening? I'm going to the theater. What time is Kathy arriving tomorrow? Half past ten. I'm meeting her at the station. I'm not working tomorrow, so we can go out somewhere. Ian isn't playing football next Saturday. He's hurt his leg. We can also use I'm going to do or I'm going to plus verb. It's, we can use this in these sentences to talk about what you have already decided and arranged to do it. For example, what are you going to do on Saturday evening? But the present continuous is more natural for arrangements. So, as we see here, going to is also possible, but what is more natural is to use the present continuous. Do not use will to talk about what you have arranged to do. What are you doing this evening? Don't say what will you do. Alex is getting married next month. Do not use Alex will get married next month. Is getting married. You can also use the present continuous for an action just before you begin to do it. This happens especially with verbs of movement, for example, go, come, leave, etc. Let's see this in these two examples. I'm tired. I'm going to bed now. Good night. Tina, are you ready yet? Yeah, I'm coming. So, we use the present continuous in these cases, right? This is, the, this is to describe an action just before you go, just before you begin to do it. Now, let's take a look on the present simple, I do, with a future meaning. We use the present simple when we talk about timetables, programs, etc. For example, for public transport, for cinemas, etc. So, my train leaves at 11.30, so I need to be at the station by 11.15. What time does the film begin this evening? It's Wednesday tomorrow, or tomorrow is Wednesday. You can use the present simple to talk about people if their plans are fixed like a timetable. For example, I start my new job on Monday. What time do you finish work tomorrow? 
but the continuous is more usual for personal arrangements. What time are you meeting in tomorrow? And not do you meet, so you don't use the simple, the, the, you, you don't use the present simple for personal arrangements. So if you make a personal arrangement with someone, we use the present continuous. What time are you meeting in tomorrow? What time are you giving classes uh, two days from now? Let's compare present simple. What time does the train arrive? Present continuous. What time are you arriving? What time does the train arrive? The train is not personal. What, what time are you arriving is personal. We use the present continuous. The film begins at 8.15 this evening. This is something else. It's not personal. I'm going to the cinema this evening. It's personal. So we use present continuous. And that's it for today, folks. And this was the Melhor Seu Inglês podcast of this week. Please follow us on Instagram, Melhor Seu Inglês, and visit our YouTube channel, Melhor Seu Inglês, which has more than 900 English video classes. For anyone interested in Skype classes, focus on conversation, please contact me, Teacher Newton, or Teacher Erica. Keep studying English, and see you on the next episode of Improve Your English podcast.